Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Campaign on Realism Difficulty. Today we're going to be playing the mission Ashes to Ashes on Realism Difficulty. Phew, finally we reached the end of the game. Took me long enough. Alright, so before we get to the actual mission, there is an important dialogue choice, an important decision that you must take at the tail end of the mission Identity Crisis. So. We're gonna go there first, and then we're gonna move to Ash to Ashes. So, yeah, override realism. Let's go. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Alrighty. So... At the end of this mission, there's two things that you must do to properly play the mission Ash to Ashes. First, there will come a dialogue choice where you either have to tell the truth to Adler or lie to Adler. So, in order to get Ash to Ashes, you must lie to him. You must say, um, Perseus is planning to detonate the nukes from Duga rather than Solovetsky. After that, you'll be allowed to free roam inside the safe house for uh, 30 seconds, literally. And you have to go to the well, back end no of the around. safe house and then uh, interact with the radio and, well, basically tell Perseus, Yo, I'm sending Adler, Adler and the boys are coming there. Just, you know, prepare an ambush. Kill them all. All right, so now that's at the tail end of this mission. All of these dialogues right here, right here in front of me. Absolutely pointless, just the discussion. There's no consequence in whatever you take, no matter if I take this or this, and there's hundreds of night dogs. It's mainly like a story, explanation sort of thing. So, I'll get back to you guys when we actually reach, you know, the stuff that's actually having some consequence behind it. So, yeah. Alright, we're at the actual dialogue option that actually has some weight behind it. Alright, so... In order to unlock Ashes to Ashes mission, you're gonna have to lie to him. You're gonna say it's a Duga, the radar array near Duga, not Solovetsky. That's if you wanna have the real ending, you know, the ending that actually feels, um, it feels like you accomplished something, feels satisfying. Well, that's just my opinion. Well. All right, so once you've uh, you made the right choice, done that, you you'll be allowed to free roam around the safe house for nine minutes. Oh, and these small details as well. All your allies' names are now in red, indicating they're Adler. not allies. And you've also been given like the Spetsnaz looking thing as your objective instead of CIA. Yeah. All right, you see this time to exfil? That goes for around 30 seconds. Now, before that, you before the time yeah. runs out, I have to go to this radio thing, set up ambush, tell Perseus. We won't let the president down. Tell Perseus, basically. All right, so now we're actually getting to the mission. That took a while. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's 
There's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. All right. So there are two main ways to play this mission. The first way is to play the mission, and the second way is to not play it at all. Now, that might sound dumb, but well, I'll explain it to you in a minute. At the start of a mission, you've got a well, another dialogue choice, and that dialogue choice has two. Uh, the options you choose can result in two different outcomes. One is you initiating the ambush, and thus, you know, commencing the mission and killing everyone. There's nothing here. It's not satisfying, but well, that's one way. That's that's the way to play the mission. And if you just uh, decide to use the other dialogue options and just keep talking to them, then Adler just gets mad and shoots you. Basically, yeah. If you take any one of these, Adler's just gonna get like. If you take one or two more of these neutral ones, Adler's gonna straight up shoot you and kill you. No ambush, nothing. But that's kind of boring, so we're gonna take this. That RPG hits pretty close to you. I don't know how you've not been eviscerated to a million pieces. But oh well, I guess plot armor is pretty uh, powerful. Well, speaking of plot armor, every single American soldier just lost their plot armor this second. I, I say that as I miss like a hundred different shots. How, how am I this bad? Alright, uh, anyways. Just, uh, just stay around this courtyard type place. I've played this mission a lot of times, but I always keep, you know, having a small confusion on who are American, who are Soviet. It's... I keep always messing up. It's probably just me being an idiot. Alright, so that's your first target. That's Mason. Just shoot him from all the way here. You can already do it. You can kill him from all the way here. Well, um... I'm sorry, Mason Knight. I had to do it. I'm sorry, Mason. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. As you can see, this mission is hardly a challenge. Hardly a challenge. Where's Where's Woods? I missed his head. There we go. Got him. I I feel really bad playing this mission. Considering you kill all these characters, but I mean If you want to end the game easily then well uh, that, 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 That's it that, that this is literally it. That, that's it. It's a walking simulator from this point on there, there's no one else Where's uh, where's that Russian soldier that gets Perseus here by the way All right, so yeah, just a walking simulator to this door I mean, you could sprint, but I mean, but I mean, we're not really running fast, are we? Then we're gonna have to wait for him to come over here for us to get the button prompt, open the door. Yeah, as I've been saying for the last couple of videos, this 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 mission's a joke. This mission's an absolute joke. Like, like, this is why I kept saying that Treyarch didn't want this to be the actual canon ending, or even stand a chance against competing against uh, the final countdown as being the main ending because this mission is an absolute joke all right anyway you don't smoke anymore mm -hmm. we tried to help you with all your worst qualities <coughs> uh -huh. I guess science still has its limits please just shut him up yeah that's a bit of a looks like you made a new friend. Yeah, he, he keeps talking. Just just, just end this real fast. There, there's no... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. There is a... Uh, there is a quick time event. You know? 
There you go. That, that's it. Not even a challenging quick time event. I guess quick time events were never challenging in the first place. Alright, there we go. There we go. That, they're done. That's it. That, that's the mission. Ah. Well! That is the end of the mission. We just need to talk to Perseus now. You remember my face, don't you? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. All right, now we just need to take this radio and so uh, Stand well, for the detonation order. snap a million people out of existence. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Yep. All righty. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Both are the same thing, and you don't speak it anyway, so... I wish we could return All right. to to watch it. The end has a big monologue, but I guess I'll keep that for the final the card next. video. That is going to be the next one, which will be having, which will be happening in the final countdown. So I guess I'll take this opportunity to After do my outro time. right here. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. A comment is definitely appreciated. And definitely, definitely, please do not forget to subscribe. Like, seriously, just scroll down right now and hit that subscribe button. It's free, and it helps me a ton. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope you have a wonderful yeah. and safe day. And I'll catch you guys next vid. Peace out. There is still much to be done. My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun.